We should always be pleased to see a question about the odd and even properties of numbers, because we can look at cases to sum into mind the number properties rules about odd and even. We know that m is an integer. The question is whether it is odd. Let's go to the data statements separately first. Statement one tells us that one plus m squared is an odd integer. We can consider cases of what that odd integer is. We might try, say, 9, but then we find that we get awkward values for m squared. A larger number is easier, such as 37. In that case, m squared is 36, and m is 6, which is even. We get an answer to the question, which is no. Trying other possible values, we always find that m is even, and we get a consistent answer of no, implying that we have definitive information to answer the question. As a tidbit, another way to evaluate this statement would be to suppose the contrary. We keep finding m is even, we might wonder, could m be odd? Using the rules, we can see that m squared would then be an odd times an odd, so it must be odd. And adding 1 is adding an odd to an odd, so 1 plus m squared in that case would be even. But that outcome is not permitted by the data statement, which states that 1 plus m squared must be odd. Therefore, m cannot be odd, which means that it must be even. That example shows another way of evaluating by cases. You can evaluate by cases whenever you can point to a finite number of cases that will cover the universe of possibilities. In this case, that's m is odd or m is even. Statement one is sufficient. Statement two is sufficient by much the same logic. Therefore, the correct answer is D.